people out there suffering with mental health issues, me included. And tonight is raising awareness, um, celebrating some of the great work that people have done, and just let it be known, just getting it out there. The media can help in getting the word out there, and it's nice to hear from different voices, not just some columnist in the Telegraph or the Times. You know, you see someone like Professor Green doing a documentary. You know, that reaches a whole new audience and a whole new target. We want to break all the taboos. There is, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Mental health is as important as all the time and energy we give to our physical health and we have to get to a point where that is really, everybody thinks that way. One of the things that's so important about nights like tonight is that it's important that you talk about your mental health issues in the present tense, not the past tense. Don't do what I did and hold it in until it's all better and then say, I had that. If you have it, speak out. And that's why tonight's so important. I didn't know when I was having postnatal depression each three times that I would be here and genuinely didn't know if I was going to survive the experiences that I had. So to be able to be stood here and to be able to give a voice to the women that have perinatal mental illness is amazing and that's what keeps me going. So thank you. <laughs> I think the big difficulty is for people to realise that this is perfectly normal. It is perfectly normal to have mental health problems. I mean, I've got a bad knee at present, and I'm not embarrassed to tell you or anybody else about it, but people are embarrassed to talk about mental issues, and it's perfectly normal, particularly among young people, to have issues with depression or suicidal feelings. I don't think you're going to change young people overnight, but what you can do is change the, the climate around them so that they're they find it easier to talk and to seek help. And, you know, the media can really help with that. It's, it's a really difficult task to get someone to open up and tell their stories, especially when you're talking about something as sensitive as mental health and as personal as your body image. Um, so it's about kind of building up these long-term relationships and showing people that you're not putting them on display, but that you actually want to hear their stories and hopefully help other people as well. The Making a Difference Award is for an outstanding contribution towards raising awareness of mental health and this year's very well-deserving winner is Professor Green. The film began as a broad take on male suicide and became my personal story. That wasn't what I signed up for. And there were some really difficult conversations. And most of that was me being scared of people seeing me at my most vulnerable. That's not a way that I see myself often. So for people to see me in a place where I don't often see myself was, you know, it was scary. But I realised that that's the biggest part of, of the problem, you know, with the stigma that surrounds mental health issues and, and in particular suicide, is that people don't, you know, people don't admit how they feel. They're not honest about it. Actually, there is some real strength to be taken from just admitting when you do feel vulnerable. Um, and something I learned from the programme was just that the difference between someone who will do what my dad sadly did um, and someone who won't is the ability to tolerate your feelings. My dad couldn't tolerate how he felt anymore and I'd be lying if, if I didn't tell you, you know, this, this award, winning it is a little bit bittersweet because I wouldn't be here if my dad hadn't took his own life. But if any good can come from a bad situation, it's so hopefully by me using my voice and everyone here using theirs, um, hopefully we can stop someone else having to suffer like he did. Thank you. I think it's great that we do things like this. It's, mm. it's important, you know, it's, it's small steps can, you know, eventually you will get somewhere. Mm. And only after do you realise how many people it actually affects when you, you're on social media and you come to awards mm. like this, that you realise quite how many people that, that, that are touched by the storyline. It was amazing because I think my mission was always to raise awareness because it's so it's not known about at all and I think the opportunity to, to kind of play out in such a big audience was incredible and seeing it played out in such a sensitive way and the theme that the script writers and the researchers had taken on the advice of Mind and other charities and Catherine and I was incredible, it's so sensitively done.